Okay, welcome back guys and girls. This is the second part of the book. So we finished our midterm test. Congratulations. Um, I hope you are happy with your grade. Uh, if you're not happy, then you can do better in the final test. Uh, if you're happy, great. Do the same thing for the final test and you will be You'll be fine. All right, so we are just going to continue what we usually do. So you can look at the screen and you can see we have chapter seven and we have our vocabulary. We haven't done this for a long time, so just reminding you we have our vocabulary. You guys remember, do this before the speaking class. Okay, so um, chapter seven you can see it says life experiences so this whole chapter is probably one of the one of the best conversation starters that you can use in in, in conversation this vocabulary this topic is great for starting conversations and getting to know people, building relationships, okay? Because we're talking about sharing our lives together. What have you done in your life? Tell me about it. I'm interested. Let's discuss it. Let me tell you what I've done in my life. And we're sharing things together, okay? So this is actually really interesting and uh, quite fun to talk about. So all of these words or phrases here are experiences, all right? So maybe they're good experiences, some of them are bad experiences, like I've broken a bone, okay? So we have to change our our break into present perfect, all right? Now sometimes people just say PP, all right? Present perfect or past participle, all right, when we're saying PP is past participle, okay? And we're talking here about using uh, the correct word for Hyunjiewaryo, right? When we're using present perfect, we need to use our past participle, okay? Now, if you look in your book on pages 169 to 171, you will see a list of uh, vocabulary words, okay? And these words will help you if, if you don't know what is the PP, what's the past participle of break, okay? So we have break, broke, broken, okay? Now, some of you know all of these and you probably practice them in middle school, maybe elementary school, definitely in high school. Um, so some of them you'll know, some of them you might not know. So what you can do is you can go to page 169, 271, and just look at the list of words and find what you need for any sentence you want to make, okay? So one more time, these are experiences that you've had in your life, good or bad get a divorce, all right? Again, you'll need to check these words, guys. Divorce is Ewan, right? To break your marriage, okay? Get married, go to a film festival, meet someone famous. These are all life experiences, okay? Now, if we go down here, you need to remember when you write the words in the blank space, you need to check the correct terms the correct match all right so you need to check is it break or is it broken okay so make sure you check when you're writing your sentence down here is it break or broken or is it broke okay so really check your answers and try to try to get them right so when we check them during the speaking class, uh, you know, you can be 
happy, proud of yourself because you've got the right um, verb. Okay, so please do that before the speaking class and we will check these 15 sentences. So that's our little introduction finished. Let's take a look at present perfect grammar focus. Okay, now it's very short today, guys. This page, not much to talk about, but very useful, like I said, for talking about your life experiences. So we said present perfect, all right? Um, Chanje, present, wario, perfect, all right? So we've got present perfect. What does it say here? Is used to describe events that occurred at an unspecified time in the past. Do not use exact time expressions such as last night or yesterday. Okay, so sounds a little bit difficult, but this word here, just, you know, unspecified means we don't know the time in the past. It's not important. Okay, so that's the first thing I want you to remember. Time is not important. Okay, and I'm going to make sure you remember. Okay, time is not important. Okay, what is important is experience. Okay, have you done it? Anje, Tangoze, doesn't matter. Just have you done it? All right, yes or no, I have done it. Okay. If the answer is yes, then we can talk about when did you do it, where, why, how, etc. Okay, but if you haven't done it, then we don't need to talk about that. All right, so we just want to know have you done it? All right, have you eaten? Have you um, listened to? Have you uh, been to? All right, these are all common questions that we ask all the time. Okay, so time is not important, all right? And it says here also, do not use exact time expressions, okay? So for example, let me clean this screen again. It says here, last night. It says here, yesterday. So when do we use last night and yesterday? when we're using simple past, okay, that's when we can use last night and, and yesterday. So I can write a sentence here and say, I went to the cinema last night, okay? And in this sentence, time is important, okay? I'm try I want you to know it was last night I went to the cinema, okay? Now, if I say here, um, now we have go, went, and then we can say been, okay? Or we can say gone, okay? Both of those are okay, okay? Uh, now let's say, let's keep it as gone, right? So let's say I have, all right, we need to have have, I have gone to the cinema, last night, dang, wrong, okay? So we said we don't use exact time. This is okay. I have gone to the cinema, which means in my life, I have been to the cinema. Anje, Sanjay, doesn't matter. Just means I've done it, okay? So if I say to you, oh, have you been to the cinema? All right, or have you been, I could say here, have you been to the cinema to see, uh, what movie is out right now? Is two, or, all right, 007, all right. Have you been to the cinema to see the new Bond movie? Okay, now, again, guys, in this question, time is not important. Yesterday, two days ago, last week, I don't care, it doesn't matter. What is important here is simply, have you been, right? Have you been to the cinema to see 007, 
Okay, so my simple answer here can just be, oops. All right, my simple answer can just be, you know, yes, I have been to C007. Okay, I have been to the cinema. Well, yes, I have seen 007. Okay, I have been to this to the cinema to see 007. Or you could say I have PP. I have seen 007. Okay, so yes, this is what is important: my life experience. Okay, so remember those two things. Okay, guys. I'll write them one more time. Time is not important. Therefore, do not use exact time expressions. Okay? So this is all about experience, not about details of time. Okay? And that's it, guys. If you can remember this, <laughs> that's most of the grammar focus for today. Uh, the key points. Okay, so if we come down here, what is our sentence structure? We have again our ding dong ding dong, yes, no, wh, always we have the same. Um, so, what do we have? We have our jua subject, she, then we have as and a half. All right, so now we have to have our subject and verb, all right, or our modal verb have to have a relationship, okay? They have to match. So if it's I, it's I have. If it's she, it's she has. If it's you, it's you have, okay? So make sure that you, maybe you can write it down on your page that you do not forget the couple for your subject and your have and has, okay? So here we've got she, so it's has, and then we need to change our verb eat, we need to change it to ate and to eaten, all right? So this is our uh, present perfect verb that we need for this sentence, okay? So she has eaten pork soup. Right? Very delicious. I love the butt. All right, so she has eaten pork soup many times. Many times, guys. Not yesterday, not two days ago, just many times. So exact time, this is not an exact time. This is generally many times, okay? So again, time is not important. I just know she has eaten vegetable pot. All right. Actually, I was in the taxi today, and the taxi driver was very happy that <laughs> he was talking to a foreigner in his car, and I was trying, you know, using my Korean, and he asked me, you know, do you like? He actually asked me, have you eaten tenjangjigae? Uh, and I. And I said, yes, I've eaten it. I, I really like it. He was so happy. He was so happy that that I had eaten it. Okay. Now, he didn't care if I had it yesterday or last week. And it's, it's not important. He just cares. Have you tasted this delicious jjigae? That lots of foreign people, maybe they don't like it because of denjang. It's very... And smelly and sometimes salty and right but I have eaten it and I do like it all right so that's our sentence okay she has eaten all right yes all right I've, yeah I have eaten it all right or I have eaten it all right so negative statements guys we are just doing what we always do, okay, so we've got our subject, and we're just adding our negative um, article there, all right, so here, subject, have, has, not, past participle, all right, so that's our PP, all 
right? So we haven't, okay, so again, we need to have our couple. We have, we haven't done our homework. Sorry, teacher, okay? Guys, do your homework. No, don't forget to do your homework. Um, and that is our negative, and we go down to our yes, no question. And how do we make a yes, no? Everybody should know this now, because I do this every class. We're just swapping these around, right? Subject, modal verb, modal verb, subject, swap them around, easy peasy, okay? So, have I, has she, have you, have we, okay? Have you, so say, have you listened to the latest CD from Sun? Is this CD? Nobody listens to CD. This is old. Let's say the latest uh, song from the side. All right. Uh, nobody, do, do you listen to Sai anymore? I don't know. You don't listen to Sai anymore? Does he make music still? I don't know. Anyway. All right, so question, have you listened to the latest song from Sai? Yes, I have. No, I haven't. All right, very simple. And then, guys, we build our conversation, okay? So, guys, remember, this is a, usually a topic starter, a, a question conversation starter, okay? So, this is not the end. This is the beginning of the conversation, all right? And then we start to build and ask more. Oh, have you listened to the latest song from Sai? Yes, I, oh, yeah, I, I heard it. Yeah, I have heard it. Um, oh, what do you think? Okay, now we're going to have a conversation. Or oh, when did you hear it? Or... Where did you listen to it? Oh, I listened to it, you know, on the radio station the other day. All right, now we're having a conversation. So guys, not just in real life, but also in the speaking test when you do it, um, this is a great question to have, all right? So if you get this question in your speaking test, you should be very happy. And last question, guys, as always, we have our this is our yes no question structure, right? So we have our as have subject, and then we just add our wh to the beginning. And we've got our wh question. All right, so where has she been all night? Where has she been all night? Is not an exact time, all right? All night <coughs> um, when in the night? This is all night. Okay, so again, it's not an exact time, it's a general time in the night. Okay, so again, where has she been all night? All right, so again, if we wanted to make this very clear for everybody to see, let's use the digital bar example. Okay, so let's say, um, I have eaten pork soup. All right, and we'll take this down here. And let's say again, negative, I haven't eaten pork soup. Yes, no question. How do I make it, guys? I'll give you five seconds quickly. Just say it in your, in your head. Okay, you should have it. Have I eaten pork soup? Okay, but Sometimes this is a little bit strange to ask the question, have I eaten pork soup? I'm talking to myself. So let's just change this to as to have you. Have you eaten pork soup? All right. And then WH question might be, um, where have you eaten pork soup? All right, so we can ask WH questions. We can ask information questions, guys. Um, but the basic theme, all right, the basic topic is experience is the most important thing. Okay, your experience. Then you can build information questions to have more information, more detail. Okay, so I have eaten pork soup. I haven't eaten pork soup. Have you eaten pork soup? Where have you eaten pork soup? Okay. And again, guys, go to page 169 to 171 to find more words if you want to 
Okay. There are a couple of things down here, guys, that, again, if you remember them, fantastic. If you don't, it's okay. Um, in present perfect, go, I already said this, okay? So we can use gone or we can use been, can be used interchangeably, which just means you can change them. You can use gone, you can use been, all right? So I have been to Korea, I haven't gone to Korea. Same thing, top and round. I have gone to Korea, I haven't been to Korea. All right, no problem. Okay, um, I have gone to Seoul, I have been to Seoul, there you go. Uh, be careful with variations of drink. Now, I don't know why people care that much about this, but people do make the mistake. Um, drink, drank, drunken, okay? So drank is past tense, okay? So I drank soju. I don't like soju, to be honest. I drank soju last night, all right? Drunk, okay? Drunk is a past participle, not drunken. Okay, so, and it's also an adjective, all right, for a person who has drank too much, right, who drank too much. So here, it's our PP, right? So, um, have you drunk soju? Okay, have you drink, drank, drunk soju? Okay, drunken is a shangongsa, is an adjective. Okay, so really, guys, you don't need to worry about this one today. When we're thinking about tongsa, a verb, don't use drunken. Okay, drunken is an adjective. It's talking about somebody who has, who is acting like they have drunk too much. Okay, and they usually are quite, uh, you know, they want to fight somebody. Um, or sleepy, it's, yeah, there's lots of bad things people do when they're drunk, okay? All right, so those are some words that people sometimes make mistakes when using, and you know, you guys like to talk about drink sometimes. Okay, so what you need to do, guys, is I want you to complete this, all right? So write down some examples, all right? So just do one. One sentence here, one sentence here, one, and one. Okay, I just want you to practice. Just write down one sentence. But what I want you to do, guys, is I want you to go back up and choose experiences from the core vocabulary. All right, so if I take here, go on vacation, I need to change go to my PP, my past participle. All right, so I've got Gunjong positive statement. So here, go on vacation. All right, so she has uh, gone on vacation um, to Spain done okay so she has gone or remember we can say been as well right so she has gone on vacation to Spain all right again time not important okay so just to make this clear one more time guys before we finish. What's the time? I've got one minute. All right, it's our timeline. This is Hyunjae, this is now, present. Okay, Hyunjae Walio, when is it? This is the easiest thing, guys. When is it Hyunjae Walio? It's any time before today. Okay, she has gone on vacation to Spain, Hyunjae. I don't know, any time since she was born to now. 
she has gone on vacation to Spain. Okay, then we can talk about, oh, you have been to Spain. When did you go? Who did you go with? Oh, was it fun? What was the best thing you, you ate while you were there? Okay. All right, guys. Well, again, one more time, finish the vocabulary here. Come down here and just do four sentences. We will check these in class time and do some speaking activities. And that will be the end of chapter seven. All right. Have a great day. I will see you on Zoom.